Hi guys and welcome back. Um, today is empties day and for some of you that may or may not watch YouTube very frequently, um, a lot of people that do beauty reviews, um, makeup reviews, tutorials and those sorts of things also take track of their garbage <laughs> and essentially that's what I'm doing for you today. So um, it's kind of like a review because these are products that I have gone through and I can let you know as I go through them and, uh, and show you what I've used up if I like them or if I didn't. So if you're interested in finding out what's in my trash, <laughs> um, stay tuned, okay. right off the top of this bag because um, literally the ones at the top are overflowing and they seem to be a lot of shampoo and conditioner bottles. So the very first one that I'm going to talk to you about is this Joyco Body Lux Thickening Conditioner. Um, this has a pH of 4.5 to 5.5 so this actually uh, distributes a lot of protein into your hair. I purchased this uh, when I was planning on going back to being blonde for my wedding because blonde is actually my natural hair color and I was finding I was getting very, very damaged hair. So I purchased this as a sort of repair, uh, you know, big protein putting back into your hair. Um, I liked it. It actually has about this much left, which uh, kind of is unfortunate because the pump won't distribute it anymore. And I don't actually feel like dumping it all out. So maybe I should actually, because there seems to be some I think I might. But this is a salon product. Again, this is the Joyco Body Lux Thickening Conditioner. I liked it. I'm definitely not going to repurchase it anytime soon. I have so many shampoos and conditioners. Um, but I do really, really, really enjoy the smell of this one. This is like, it's quite a clean smell. Um, I'm not big on things that smell like candy. Um, so this one is a really nice shampoo. Um, the next one I have here is a Pantene Curly Hair Series. This has been kicking around in my shampoo and conditioner half bottle collection for, I bet you, a year and a half or more. Um, I use Pantene every so often and I only use this one as um, the shampoo that helped me get out my coconut oil and castor oil hair treatment. So I find that there's a lot of detergent in these and I find that it sides up a lot but you go through them really quickly. So my sort of hair routine when I would try to get those oils out because they're really hard is to use the, um, what's that store called? I'm looking at one of their bottles. The Lush uh, line, The Big, which has the sea salt, uh, lemon. It is really good at cleansing those oils and then this I used just to get like a super suds because I wanted to get everything out so I didn't look like I was all greasy the next day. So Pantene, I buy it routinely. Um, I usually always have a half bottle kicking around somewhere because I go through the shampoo and the conditioner is always never through um, but I tend to buy most of my hair products at the salon. The next thing I have in here is the Crest Pro Health White uh, Multi Protection Alcohol Free. Um, I like this. This is in the flavor uh, Cool Wintergreen, and um, one of the reasons I like this, Craig really likes mouthwash, so he typically is the one that goes through the mouthwashes quicker than I do, but I did like this one because it's alcohol three free, so it didn't have that crazy burn that Listerine typically does. So yeah, I definitely would repurchase this one again. Um, it's got all the main things that you want to have happen, no gingivitis, no plaque, no um, bad breath, so yeah. It's not a bad product. Um, here we go. Okay, so we have a face wash now. This is the Elizabeth Arden Dry Sensitive Hydra, um, Hydra Gentle Cream, Cream Cleanser. That was a mouthful. And I purchased this because I, I was and do experience very dry skin. This is a cream cleanser, so there's no sudsing whatsoever for this. Um, it was quite light. The smell was quite nice. It says it's got micro milled oats that's supposed to help to give a little bit of an exfoliation. I didn't really feel those. They must be really micro if you ask me. Uh, but Elizabeth Arden, I'm always a fan of her face stuff, uh, of her face stuff, of their face stuff. So um, yes, I definitely would recommend this product. Um, and if you have dry skin like me, it was very nourishing, very moisturizing. 
Uh, I have put in, I have a few Lush products, so maybe I'll go through my Lush products next. Um, this bag I put in here because this is the bag that you get their massage butters out of. If you've watched any of my pregnancy vlogs, you'll know that that's what I use to combat my stretch marks. And the, um, the massage bars are just absolutely wonderful. So um, this was a refill package that I had bought because I had gone through one of my old ones. So yes, please go out and buy the Lush Body Bar. When uh, this one I had was uh, the therapy one. I also used uh, another product by Lush called Lovely Jubblies. And again, if you've seen any of my videos, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I have cleansed this right out. Uh, this one is scented with, uh, what have we got, evening primrose, avocado oil, honey, jasmine, that's the smell I'm thinking of. Oh, it's delicious. But it's interesting though because I would suggest if you're scent sensitive, especially if you're pregnant, um, jasmine is not supposed to be one of the best scents for a pregnant person to have because apparently it can induce labor. Uh, Lovely Jubblies though is a product for your breasts and it helps to keep things nice and firm. So I've actually repurchased this so I would definitely recommend this as an empties um, and I'm almost through my next one because it's taken me so long to get through this whole, um, <laughs> to fill up this bag for you. Uh, the next uh, products that I have, um, these are both from Lush. And these are some of their fresh face masks. Now, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with these. Um, I love them. I do love what they do. I do love what they're all about. Uh, literally, when you go into the Lush store, you have bowls and you can see all their fresh products. Uh, the problem is, is I am a person who would like to say I do a face mask once a week. Um, sometimes I'll be really good at it. Sometimes I'll actually get a couple of them in a week. And then all of a sudden, I don't do it for a few weeks. Um, with these being fresh face masks, they go bad very quickly. There's no preservatives in them whatsoever, and they are all fresh products. So this one that I have on my uh, right hand is called Brazened Honey, and it is uh, to revitalize tired skin with warming Ayurvedic herbs and spices. So this is, uh, Ayurveda is a sister science to yoga, similar if you would say Chinese medicine. They're, um, Physical practice that we'd use to move and promote pranic energy through the system would be uh, Qigong or Tai Chi. And um, in Ayurveda, it is like the grand sort of science or medicinal system, and they use the yoga asanas or the physical postures to actually get the movements um, or get the movement in the prana. So, this is an Ayurvedic urban spice, meaning that when we're using honeys, honeys are very, very nourishing. So, um, Raisin honey, and then the BB seaweed. Now this seaweed one is a reviving mineral rich mask to cleanse and soften. So what I actually did was I would use the BB seaweed first, I'd rinse it off, and then I would put the brazen honey on. I only was able to use about three applications of this before they both went bad, and when I mean they go bad, I mean they have mold. That sucks, those are empties. I love them, but I would only probably recommend those for you guys if um, you are planning on you know, going through them pretty fast. Um, toothpaste, why not? Went through this product. This is the 3D White Crest Advanced Vivid. It was toothpaste. I don't know if I saw anything really with whitening your teeth, but hey, I didn't have any complaints. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're going back to another hair product. This is the um, one and only Argan Oil Restorative Mask. Um, I wasn't a super fan of this. I think I threw, threw globs of this on my hair just so I could get through it. I didn't hate it enough to not use it, but it stuck around in my shower for quite a while and I would just be like <sighs> and I would just, yeah. Occasionally I would sleep with this in. Um, there's nothing to write home about this. I probably will not repurchase this product. Uh, another product, what we got here? We have a natural scent cocoa butter body lotion, and this is not tested on animals. It's all natural ingredients. I have had this cream for years. I do not like it. It was really, really runny. Um, as you can see, I, I threw it in my bag and it's still not completely empty. I would not recommend this product. Natural Sense Cocoa Butter Body Lotion. But it also, you know what else it didn't have? It didn't have a pump, so I had to like pour it out of my, oh, it didn't even smell good. 
No, don't get this. Okay, what's this? Oh, yeah, CND Shellac. This is the Power Polish Nourishing Remover. This is a bit of a higher end remover for, excuse me. It's cold when I do go to do these videos. Um, for salon or professional use. CND is um, creative nail design uh, and this is for shellacking. So if some of you are familiar, I shellac my own nails and I will do a video about shellacking. Uh, but to get the shellac off, it stays on your nails, which is like a gel hybrid polish. It stays on your nails for anywhere from, you know, some people only get a week's wear out of them up to some people get three weeks wear. And um, there's sort of that love hate with it. I usually typically do a French manicure. And then what I'll do to change up the colors is I will use regular Essie polishes or such over top of my um, French manicure because then I can just take a regular nail polish remover and whoop, 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 take it off really quick and I have a perfect head and still underneath. They're shiny, they have not, the, the polish of the shellac has not been touched. That is because you need to soak off shellac. So you need to, what I do is I do a little buffing at the top of my nail to break the seal and then I wrap them with a cotton pad and some uh, tin foil or aluminum foil or aluminum foil or however you want to say it, wherever you are. and. Um, and then they have to sit for about 10 minutes. I put uh, warm gloves on my hands to help to peel them up a little bit faster. Um, but this power polish is supposed to be quite nourishing um, because the acetone can be really, really drying to your nail beds and the skin and cuticle around you. So you might have great nails, but then you have awful cuticles and uh, what's the good thing? So CND power polish, I absolutely would repurchase this. I have, I bought the smaller version, which was about this size. And I think this one was probably around 15 to $20. I bought like it's a little like pouring tub square one and I think I paid 35 You cannot buy this in the store, but you can buy it on eBay. Um, so you just want to make sure that you take a really good look at the users to make sure that it's authentic because you would want not want to spend as much money on nail polish remover and it not be real. Um, going along with that, I'll show you just, this is a bag of cleansing pads. There's nothing fantastic about these cleansing pads. I actually think I might have got these at the dollar store, so I am not going to re recommend these their cleansing pads. They were actually big, huge squares, and I had to rip them, so actually I would probably say I didn't like these so much. Um, Jameson's Vitamin E uh, 3000 IU Dry to Very Sensitive uh, or Very Dry Skin Ultra Rich Moisture Cream. I like this. I did a tutorial with this. Um, a while back using it for one of my natural makeups. This has been just a go-to for me. I've probably gone through about six or seven of these bottles over the last couple of years and I always think that vitamin E is a very good thing to add back into your skin so recommend it. Highly go and buy it. This is a pretty, I don't want to say generic brand, but this is a pretty well-known brand for vitamin E cream. And moving right along, I have the La Roche-Posay um, Physiological Soothing Toner, Gently Tones. Um, sometimes I'm not really sure about toners. The toner that I'm using right now is the Clinique Toner and it is supposed to actually be an exfoliant and I've actually really enjoyed how my skin has felt from that. This toner, I don't know if it really did much to me anything. Sometimes toners I find will help in taking off yesterday's makeup or that night's makeup, um, but yeah, I couldn't tell you if over anything had happened. So I've got a few different toners. I'm going to go through those before. I'm not against this one, but I don't think this one was anything special. Um, one of my favorite products or product lines is the Burt's Bee lines. This is the um, Peach and Willow Bank Deep Pore Scrub. And this is 100% natural. It is a scrub that has, you know, pieces of peach in it, peach pits. Um, I used to use the St. Ives apricot one. This one is much more gentle. I would strongly recommend this. I do have an orange peel one by Burt's Bees that I use for my face that I like much better. This I find um, the grains are a bit too big, too coarse, too rough for your face. And they're so large, they're so few and far between that I don't really think it does anything effective. So when I was pregnant, I broke out a little bit uh, in my back and I used to use this a lot for my back. So if anybody experiences any sort of back acne or um, issues with skin that way, I would strongly recommend this, especially for your elbows and your knees for exfoliation. And I just put it in my shower. 
Okay, three more products. Um, we've got another toothpaste. Oh, I could probably do a comparison of the two. Optic White Colgate versus the other one, which was Crest. I like this one better. This one I've repurchased. It is actually completely empty again upstairs in my bathroom. And um, I'm going to go to my backup reserve, which is not one of these. So we're going into one of my natural toothpastes. Um, I have a bunch of natural, like Tom's natural toothpaste. I don't like them as much. I know it's, I know, but, um, I have them. I use them usually quite frequently, but, um, the Colgate one over the Crest one for sure. Optic white. I did notice a difference with my teeth whitening in this. Uh, I have a double extend um, tubes, beauty tubes mascara by L'Oreal. This is my, what do they call it? This is my, I can't remember, but this is, this is like a product for me that I will always have. If L'Oreal ever stops making this, I will probably be the saddest person in the world. I have the shortest little stubbiest eyelashes and this is a, um, extender first it goes on white and then the color so I'll do one coat of white one on each one coat of black I might go over it with another black um, I have tried and have recently purchased probably 10 different mascaras that claim to do these lengthening and voluming and whatever it is nothing compared to this so guys this is the holy grail product that's what I was trying to think of I, I won't go anywhere without this I always have it I usually have two in my backup because I am paranoid that they're gonna stop making it because just when you always love a product uh, they take it away but I have been loving this product for probably three if not four years now do not buy anything else um, and I always get the blackest of the black and then if I want my lips lashes to be a little bit more volum voluminous I will just coat it with um, maybe like benefits um, they're real or something along those lines and it just gives things more of that baby doll look and the final product is, again, uh, just slowly becoming one of my Holy Grail products. I usually put this on every day, if not um, as by itself as a BB cream or as a base for my BB cream as it acts like a primer. This is the Super Blemish Balm. It's by Skin79. I have talked about it a few different times. The bottle I have right now is the pink one. This is the VIP Gold, VIP Gold Collection. Apparently, they're supposed to be different colors. I don't see a difference in them. Uh, this is a, apparently a whitening product. Um, it's typically used, I've ordered this overseas, so it has um, Korean writing on the back. Um, so this is a whitening cream, so it helps to eliminate some of my blotchiness, and uh, it has an SPS of F of 25. Uh, it is also supposed to be wonderful for wrinkle improvement. It's very nourishing. It gives you that lovely dewy look. If you have oily skin, you probably will not like this but it goes on in like this weird gray color and then it fades away into your skin and your skin just is like that nice even tone. It's almost just like a little bit heavier of a moisturizer. So amazing, amazing, amazing product between this and this and probably this and all of my Lush products, the CMD products and the Burt's Bees. Guys, this has been a wonderful empties video. I hope it's helped you out. And if you like any of these products, I've linked them all below. Comment and let me know if you like this type of video. This is empties number one. It's going to take me a bit to get them filled again, but I finally get to empty the trash. <laughs> Thanks guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this episode of One Urban Yogini's videos. It's me, Jamie McIntyre, and I'd just like to remind you before you leave to click the subscribe button so that you stay updated on everything that I'm posting from any of my tutorials, DIYs, and all of the family stuff with Kieran and Craig and myself. If you're interested in knowing about any of the past videos that I've done, you can also look at the link below for last week's or this most recent video and um, stay updated with my Facebook page, my Twitter page, my blog spot. There's all sorts of ways to keep in touch, so don't forget to do so. And please comment and thumbs up if you like this video because I enjoyed making it for you. And if you have any requests, please also leave that below. Okay, bye-bye.